Hi, this is Charu Lamba reporting live on the second day of fourth edition of e-commerce and digital native summit. We have today with us Guru Kirti from Carrot Lane. So Guru, I want to understand from you how has been your experience at the fourth edition of e-commerce and digital native summit? I am a repeat uh, visitor here and I, every time I come here, I look forward to networking with a lot of speakers and uh, a lot of learning experience and so on. So I have always been uh, thrilled to come here and every time it actually exceeds my expectations when I come here. It's been a great learning uh, journey. So you had a great session on Omni Channel today, challenges, opportunities, two key learnings from the panel if you can share. One would be... Um, at an omni-channel, you know, I think cons consumer behavior is shifting, you know, towards omni-channel and uh, more and more, uh, you know, very deep in, in that sense that, you know, they wanted to see a lot of value and convenience in the way that they shop with the brand. The other one would be to, on a tier 2 and tier 3 markets, how is it going to be, you know, very different from a tier 1 market in terms of the strategy for omni-channel. So, I think uh, that uh, thought process is still in my mind on how do we take it further. Though we are talking about omnichannel, but we see the fight between Q-commerce and e-commerce uh, heating up. Who do you think is going to win this race? It depends on the category. Certain categories uh, doesn't fit well in the Q-commerce, uh, you know, uh, in the ecosystem. For example, jewelry. You know, we have tried it with a Q-commerce application and we realized that the customer doesn't need it in 10 minutes and 15 minutes. And so there is no point in doing that. But there is a lot of low-value products and the convenience products or utility products that they would need. Definitely, Q-commerce is going to change the way e-commerce itself is going to think about it. The, so the marketplaces and long-time players is going to find it hard if they don't, uh, you know, get into the Q-commerce. I think hands down to Q-commerce on a um, on a high value and high convenient products with a with a large utility. But, uh, you know, the e-commerce is going to win in terms of the longevity and something where, uh, you know, time, taking time is even accepted, you know, to, you know, for the customers. Thank you for sharing wonderful insights. It was a pleasure having you today over here. Thank you. Thank you, Charu. Always a pleasure to come here. Thanks for having me here today.